everyone. Welcome to our guide on the year-end close process in Dynamics 365 financing operations. Let's discover together how to make a seamless financial closure. The year-end close process becomes actual only once a year when employees have no time to get to know this procedure in the accounting system. This is why it is crucial to be aware of the tools, capabilities and know the process in general before it becomes urgent. So let's dip down to the year-end close process in finance and operations. First, the closure of a year is not the responsibility of one employee. In fact, this process involves everybody from warehouse worker to financial director. To close the year, we must ensure that all the work has been done. This is why it is important to have a checklist of all necessary tasks to be completed. Finance and Operation offers a configurable workspace which will contain the list of assigned tasks. Here you can check the summary of period close, you can check all remaining tasks or block tasks, the general number of assigned tasks. Additionally, we can check status by company. Uh, you can check the level of completion for each company. You can check status by area. Uh, for example, if you press to area, you will see all related tasks to be completed. The same for person. You can check status by person. You can check level of completion and see which uh, tasks have to be done. You can filter by company. And there is a task list tab where you can see all tasks across companies, across responsibles and divided by area such as accounts payable, receivable, project, fixed assets, etc. You can see that each task has its due date and completion date. If we go to show completed tasks, we'll see the completion date for each completed task and let's go back, we'll hide completed task and check one more useful thing, which is the fact that we can press to link to a name of a task and go directly to corresponding form. For example, now we see foreign currency revaluation regular form where you, where you can register all parameters and run the procedure. Let's go back to workspace. Also, there is one more useful feature, which is set dependency. You can uh, specify the dependency of tasks. For example, in project module, it is impossible to accrue revenue if we didn't post timesheets. For example, I mark accrue revenue is completed and system says that we have to complete all dependent tasks first. And if we check dependency, we will see that indeed there is a task which we have to complete first, which is post timesheets. Also, now you see all tasks because I'm a person, I'm a user who has uh, full rights, but each responsible will see their own list of tasks, their own summary of uh, completion in their interface, as well as due date, completion date, everything. Also, we can edit tasks. For example, we can check area, task name, due date, responsible, etc. If we need it, so we can easily do it. As soon as all tasks are completed, so we can run year and close procedure, which uh, rolls balances over the next year. Let's go to year and close tab and let's see this form. Here we can see the history of closure. Uh, also, we can check reversal, history of reversals, and from this form, we can run fiscal year close. The described is a standard f and year and close procedure, which has been enhanced during time. Among such enhancements, there is awareness between ledger settlement and year and close feature, which allows you to have detailed opening balances after running of year and close. Without the feature, balances are rolled over based on account or combination of account and financial dimensions and represents the total amount for a given combination. So let's see the difference. 
First, we'll run year and close procedure without this feature. So let's ensure that it is disabled. Let's find it and we see that uh, we see that this feature is disabled. So before I want to briefly remind you about ledger settlement uh, ledger settlement functionality. Let's go to ledger module. So this is kind of a cleanup tool which allows to close ledger transaction on the main account when you have related debit and credit transactions. This makes it possible to have extra insights on main account transaction to see if these transactions are finished or still open. We'll go to ledger settlements and specify the account before we have to enable ledger settlements. And then we say that we want to keep track of this account which is prepaid insurance so now let's go to a ledger settlement forum we press display fun transactions and we see two transactions of insurance accrual they are related to different cars and we want to ensure that these transactions will be settled to related expense recognition transactions so let's go to year and close to see the opening transactions for this specific account without enabling this feature. We go to year and close, run year and close, select company, select a year, give it a name and press OK. Now we have to wait till this procedure is completed. Let's wait some time. Uh, so operation is completed and let's go to voucher to check transactions. We want to check uh, opening transactions for uh, for the account of insurance. Let's find it. And we see only one transaction with a total amount of those two open transactions from previous year. So now I want to reverse it. And uh, we will enable feature and try the year and close again. Let's go to feature management and let's enable it. It is enabled. One more thing is that in general ledger parameter related to ledger settlement, there is a new field. Keep detailed during year and close. We will set it to yes and let's run the year and close again. We'll go to general ledger to year and close. Select this company's run year and close procedure again. Type a year, give it a name as usual, and press OK. And now we have to wait some time. Let's check if our operation is completed. It is completed. Let's check voucher and let's find insurance account to see the difference, to see which opening transactions i will filter by account sorry one three two and we see two different transactions two separate transactions which means we exactly understand their nature and we will able to settle them separately in a ledger settlement form let's check how it looks like in ledger settlement Okay, let's give it a date. As you can see, there is one mandatory field, which is main account now. And let's display transactions. There are two transactions, which uh, came from previous year. But now there were two transactions created for the opening transactions in 2023. Uh, normally, we settle these transactions manually. We have to mark them and then we have to press settle mark transactions. But there is a one new feature which I want to tell you about, uh, which is related to ledger settlement process. And this feature is called Automate Ledger Settlement Process which is disabled now and I will enable it. And as soon as it is enabled, we can see uh, the new menu item in the system. So we have automate ledger settlement process enabled. 
And now we are able to see a new menu item in the general ledger module, which is process automation. Here we can create new process automation, which is ledger settlement. Let's create series. And here we can see, we can give it a name. We have to set up schedule time. And we can set occurrence. We want to it happen daily or monthly or weekly. Whatever we want, we can specify it. Next, we have to uh, a, to add a main account, which we want to include in this process. And we can specify match criteria. For example, we want to match transactions within 30 days. And we also can match them based on financial dimensions, posting type, or financial tax. Now we will switch it off. And let's finish configuration. And now we can see that this process is set up. And on the left side, we see the status of uh, completion. And now it is scheduled. Uh, so now to demonstrate you how it works, I will post a journal where we can recognize expenses related to this insurance. So let's find this journal. Okay, let's go in. And here you can see expense account. So we will post expense transaction. Let's say, let's press post. And let's go to ledger settlement form. Let's filter by its account. And what we see, we see, we, we see three transactions. And usually we settle them manually in this way. We mark two transactions when, which we want to settle and then we settle it. Now we will unmark it. And let's run the procedure of settlement. So we already have it completed. If we view results, we will see that it is success. Let's go to ledger settlement form again to check if transactions were settled automatically. Yes, indeed, there is only one transaction left. If we switch to settle transactions, we will see that these two uh, transactions are already settled. So this is a new feature of automation for this process, which can be useful and which can simplify work of your employees. Performance, another important topic, are uh, related to year and close. We have to minimize influence of this uh, procedure to the system, and there are tips how we can do it. First of all, we have to use financial dimension sets properly. Every time year and close procedure runs, it creates as many sets of opening balances as many financial dimension sets you have. So please keep actual ones. And another recommendation is a smart usage of profit and loss financial dimension configuration on a year and close. So there are some options which we can specify under profit and loss financial dimension. And let's discuss each of each of them. For example, we can select close all. It means that every single agreement value, for example, for that dimension will be maintained when we determine the gain or loss uh, and post that to retained earning. Which means that if you have 500 different agreement values and those are used on your transactions, you will have 500 retained earnings accounts. You can use close single and leave it blank. It will work the way that all transactions will be posted with blank value of this dimension. The same for closing close single with value. We do not care about the details and we expect to have only one retained earning account with a specifi specified financial dimension. For example, we will post everything to 007. Let's see how it looks like. For example, if we take uh, a look 
at the previous voucher which we created before and check one expense account. For example, let's take expense account and we see that there are several transactions split it by dimensions. So we don't want to keep track of those. That is why we will uh, close to single. We will select close single and leave it blank for some dimensions which are used for those for the for that account. And now let's reverse the year again to run it after this. So let's run a year and close procedure again for 2022. Let's give it a name, close 2022. Okay, now we have to wait some time and we see that operation is completed. Let's check voucher, let's filter by account and we see only three transactions which are split by currency but uh, we can see that there are no financial dimensions values, all they are blank. Finally, the recently introduced feature Optimize Year and Close is recommended to be enabled. It uses microservice technology and gives next advantages. It improves performance of year and close process, it free up resources on the window, and it gives better visibility into progress. As you can see on this picture, if service is not installed and feature process here and close is not enabled, the process of closing logic will be performed in Dynamics 365 Finance and Operations. And if the feature is installed, we see that closing logic is beyond the Finance and Operation. It is performed in microservice. And as a bonus, we finally have ability to define financial detail level for balance sheet accounts. Now it is possible not only for PL accounts, you can do the same configuration for your balance account. As you prepare to close your fiscal year, remember that with the right tools and insights like Dynamics 365 Finance and Operations, you are well equipped to face the financial challenges ahead. For more insight, tutorials and expert tips, be sure to subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification button. Bye!